That tank's gonna hit me. Uh... I don't know if it's gonna one-shot me again, but there's no harm in seeing. I looked and there's a translation patch for the third game. It's not complete since some extra and DLC missions aren't translated, but everything else seems good. I'll play it. My turn, okay? I'll play that. If it's if it's if everything but the extra and DLC, I mean I would like to play the extra stuff, but um if everything besides that is complete, I'll play it. At least it's translated, that's good. Not really sure what this is gonna do for me, but let's see. Alright, so there is a tr fan translation in the works or finished, basically. That's good to know. It's for PSP, right? I think PSP is the title. Is the uh, what it's for. I'm pretty sure it said PSP. I think I remember looking it up. Oh, that destroyed the main gate. I have to defend the main gate. But also, I have to wait for the tank. I can't destroy the tank without the actual tank. I kill that scout. Kill him. Got him. I'll play, uh, Valkyria Chronicles 3, though. If it is translated. I'm probably gonna play them in order. I don't know when I'm gonna play Revolution, because Revolution doesn't have to do with the main story. So... Depending if I can figure out how to emulate the second and third, I might do Revolution after this game. Because Revolution doesn't have to do with the actual other series. Revolution is a... It's an action game, actually. It's like hack and slash, kind of. So I can really do that whenever. It is for portable. Okay, select so like the second one. I just need a PSP emulator to emulate both of them. That's good to know. Got him. What does that broken um metal mean? The, the thing that broke there. Ragnade. A small amount of damage is healed at the start of each player phase. Sometimes a unit that has suffered heavy damage needs to help to arrive faster than any ragnade. Ragnade. Oh, is this like magic kind of? Yet another product of ragnade or ragnade combines healing and antibiotic pro biotic properties into a single medical package. Select it with the square button, then press R1 to select the target. Oh, so you can also heal manually. Okay, that's good because I thought healing was only done through phases. Place the crosshair on a nearby alley and heal them, or place them on no one to use this handy, or place them on no one to use this handy item to heal yourself. I, that sentence sounded weird for me. I'm not sure why. Die. That probably wasn't a smart idea. I thought I was gonna die. Oh yeah, I'm dead. So does Alicia have Ragnade? My turn, okay? That's not what I wanted to do, whatever. Oh, I have Ragnade. There's the Watchman. What? Am I aim at him? Shocks to 24 shots. That's a lot. Isn't this the Ragnade, or am I missing something? It's not locking on to him. I'm gonna get five shots. Kill the guy. You can kill your own allies. My bad. 
Come on, stream. My bad. I didn't know that can happen. I have a lot to learn. I'm not in your turn. That broken metal was a command point. Leaders provide one command point per turn or one action. So if you and an enemy loses leader, you lose one action per turn. Oh, really? That's awesome. So the more enemies you defeat, the more turns you get. It's kind of like you get the edge in battle. I like that. Well, I mean, I, I know, I'm aware that if you, you you lose a leader, you lose a turn, but that's really nice. It's like a trade-off system. I love that. I'm a little confused on this Ragnade, though. You know? I'm a little confused how it works. Whatever, I don't really need it. That guy died. I accidentally killed him. Alright, I gotta, I gotta remember. I can kill my allies. Noted. You were just too far away to target him. No, if this keeps up. Oh, so you have to be near closer. Okay. Thank you, Zildane. All right, so you the range is just not that good. All right, the main gate is getting destroyed. I have to do something here. I mean, there's not really much I can do with the tank. The tank is gonna come no matter what. Wanna die? Get wrecked. I can do all I can for defense, but the thing is, that tank is gonna keep targeting the main gate unless this tank comes quick. Welcome to Rive, yes. I couldn't hold out much longer. All right, so I think we're just gonna want to aim on the tank now. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, box. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. All right, tanks. T tanks possess firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They are able to deflect nearly all gunfire from enemy foot soldiers. This makes them a solid wall wall for your own ground units to hide behind. Unlike ground units, however, tanks do not recover a portion of their lost HP each turn. Tanks also consume 2 CP when selecting command. Alright, that's fair. It balances out. Relying too heavily on tanks about will quickly lead to a fall shortage of CP. Additionally, tanks require AP to turn. So, take care to plan ahead which direction you'd like to face. Attacking with a tank. Tanks have three major means of attack. Anti-armor shells, explosive mortar rounds, mounted machine guns. All right, so anti-armor shells are effective against enemies covered in hard armor. Got it. So tanks. Explosive will hit a broad area with a ragnite blast. That's probably what I want to use in this scenario. Mortars travel along an arc aim for the center. All right. So I think I want to use the second one, right? Machine gun is best suited to strike. Striking enemies are two bullets for the mortar and is used to intercept. All right. Do I want to use the, uh, not the anti-armor. I think I'm going to use this, right? No. Oh no, it's not what I wanted to do. Oh, drive through. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Oh, it's a tank. It's a galleon tank. Alicia, I'm sorry we're late. Welcome. You have a tank? We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tank sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. All right. Let's go take it down. So you just want to go to that tank, right? This we want anti-armor. Oh, look at that damage. Tanks HP. Tanks have two separate HP totals, body HP, body HP and tread HP. 
Attacks to the tank's body and main cannon will reduce BHP, while blows to the threads reduce THP. So I did thread, I think, right? I think I did the thread HP. If THP reaches zero, AP is drastically cut, and if BHP reaches zero, the tank is destroyed. Oh, so multiple targets. That's nice. These are to deal damage to the threads, then to the body, even with grenades. Halting a tank before taking it out at your leisure may be a strategy that's both safe and sensible. The glowing blue radiator plate at the tank's rear is its weak point, where even standard bullets can do reasonable damage. Oh, I was wondering what that blue thing meant. Try to get behind tanks for it. For a chance to take them down while being careful not to expose yourself your own rear to hostile fire okay i like it I think i'm stuck here <laughs> i'm stuck yeah all right let me uh get alicia in here is it facing behind? That'd be awesome. So does this mean humans can, um, hit this? Kill question mark. I don't want to, like, do this and not get, um... Alicia could die, so I'm not going to do it. I'd rather be safe here. That tank's going to hit me. Alright, whatever. If she dies, she dies, but... If she dies, I also lose. Which sucks. Do not... Oh, it's hitting the tank. Perfect. I'll be fine. All right, as long as they don't destroy that gate before they destroy the tank, we're fine. This is going according to plan so far. Oh no. No, please. <laughs> she died again. <sighs> All right. Yeah, she's dead. I have to start from the beginning again. I mean, that's not bad, but still. This takes too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't skip this. Which I kind of hate. Alright, a little annoying, but... I should just keep Alicia's health high. Should I even bother hitting if I'm waiting for the tank? Let me try something. End this current phase. Because the tank is going to keep, keep keep hitting the door anyway, so I'm not going to be able to hold it back without the tank. Also, I wish you could skip enemy phases. The tank does so much damage. Alright, the scout is dead. Maybe I'll just spread out my allies. That'd be smart. He died like three times. Hey, keep it up, keep it up. Good damage we're getting. That scout is down. Yo, give me the extra turn. All right, my turn again. My turn, okay. Even though I chose to skip my turn before. Die. 
30 hits. Yeah, at least speed up the phase. That'd be nice. I don't think there's anything here. I feel like I looked. These are the only options in the game. So I don't think there's a way to speed up the phase. Speeding up the phase would be nice. Like Fire Emblem has that. Three Houses has a way to like make the phase. You could skip the phase, but you can also speed up the phase. I'd be fine with either. I'd be fine with either one, but like honestly, having to see these animations like just gunshots over and over again can get a little annoying. So I would say speeding it up would be nice. My turn, okay? Like, honestly, just have Alicia keep shooting this thing down. My turn, okay? Yes, please hit. I need this damage. Moving out. I might as well just have Alicia kill this thing. Yeah. But after this, she's not going to be able to move for a while. That's fine. Alicia, like, can't get hit, so I should probably have her attack. I have not seen her get hit once. Moving out. Now. All right, did not die, but it'll die as it's running towards the, uh, gate, I think. I think I know a better way to deal with the tank as well. I just have to keep Alicia high on health, and she shouldn't die. Alright, that's a lot, but it's fine. The tank should be here soon, ideally. Oh man. It'd be really nice if you could speed up these phases. Also, I forgot to say this sooner. I like how they, um, I like rankings. I like video games that rank your, um, the levels and missions you do. This game has rankings. I do like that, though. I like games that rank stuff. Like, have rankings, like Sonic games. Mega Man Zero has rankings as well. I like games that rank. Welcome to Rive, thank goodness. I could not hold out much longer. All right. All right, thank goodness the tutorials don't go by again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all this already. All right. Wait, what did I miss? I can't believe I missed. Trying so hard to aim there. That's that's unfortunate. All right, you can end this. Uh, I'm gonna have Alicia stay where she is. I think. <laughs> also, I'm not gonna make the same mistake and uh, kill my ally again. Alicia should be able to live a tank hit. Should. Keyword should. Actually, wait, it's. Oh, bad. Oh, can tanks not attack during enemy phase? Is that something that happens? Or maybe they can. I don't know why I didn't attack the other thing. Oh, wait, Alicia didn't die to a tank, right? Didn't she die to just a regular, um. soldier? I think she died to somewhat, like, a human. Never mind. 
I, I think I'm fine now. Because I think Alicia was just low on health. Alright, eliminate this tank quickly. Just gonna use the anti-armor. Do that. There we go. It's almost down. I can't do it again, though. Just at my face. I think we got this in the bag. Assuming the tank... I don't think the tank will go for Alicia. It's gonna focus on the Ada Wees. Ada Wees. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's gonna focus on the other tank, so I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about, um, anyone else. Yeah, die. <laughs> you are no match for my tank. Tanks are too powerful. Oh, she did die to a guy. Okay, I figured. Yeah, that was the first battle. The, the other battle I lost in, she died to a tank. I got confused. She should be fine. But we got this. I right, that got the red. Entering combat. Do it again. I am on this blue thing. I kind of want to try it. There we go. That's what I wanted to do before. I wanted to do that before, but I missed. All right. 